Joy in Persecution from the January 1900 issue of Word and Work, a Christian newsletter. We should be joyful in persecution because 1. God has commanded us to rejoice always. 2. Persecution is the pathway to happiness. 3. Great persecution brings great reward. 4. Persecution is a mark of honor to God's chosen. 5. Persecution makes us partakers of Christ's sufferings and of his joy. Though a man of sorrows, Jesus was anointed with the oil of gladness above his fellows. 6. God turns the curse into a blessing. He transforms sorrow into joy. Satan's worst to us may be God's best for us. At the cross, Satan did his worst. At the cross, God did his best. To be crucified is to be crowned. Trials are often only answered prayer. A Christian woman prayed for love and patience and likeness to Jesus. There came to her home as a worker, one who was ill-mannered, self-willed, and suspicious. A friend coming to the home and noting the unladylike behavior of the worker said to her hostess, I would not have her in my house one hour. I will never send her away, was the quiet reply. God sent her. I have been praying for love and patience and likeness to Jesus. She recognized the trial as from God and could rejoice in it.